you know, when I first saw Star Wars, I was six, and it, you know, it blew my little mind then. And you know, you can definitely say it, it changed my life, even though I was only six. It was it's something that kind of filled my brain, and was influenced everything I did after that, pretty much. So, um, it you do remember it differently. And we've had to go back and look at things over and over again, and you're like, oh well, that. that you know, when you really look at it hard, you do see the gaffer tape stuck on the stormtroopers, and you see certain things that you, that aren't in your memory. So it's nice to be able to to live in that, to work in that world, as it were, to live in that world, and to be able to do it how we remembered it, and to just do some things just that little bit better, so that because you you couldn't do it how it was done then, it wouldn't survive the HD treatment. So it's just like tweaking things like. Um, like on the stormtroopers, where there were stickers on certain decals on certain things, we, you know, we put it on the computer and we made them little three-dimensional, proper vents rather than stickers and stuff. So it's just little things like that. If you look at it, you wouldn't notice the difference, but when you go in tight on it, you can, you know, you can see it's a more real object. There's a character in, if you blink you'll miss it, but there's a character in the, on the Death Star in the original film in A New Hope who's <coughs> sitting alongside Tarkin and he's got a, a really kind of fine moustache and slick back hair and I think according to the expanded universe <coughs> his name is y Yularin, Yularin or something and uh, he's got this great white tunic on and you know we thought that would be a great look you know for the villain of this piece 